one. Hey, Chef Ray here with you today. Today is a wonderful day, but I hope your day is going good. Mine is going great. Once again, I am here to present to you a nice, healthy dish. Very lovely, very lovely. Today, a vegetable I've been working with that's common to a lot of people, broccoli. Yes, broccoli. Not a broccoli salad, but a nice twist on a side dish that can pair up with any other kind of protein you want to pair it up with. Let me show you the ingredients that I have, and I'm going to walk you through how you're going to make this nice, healthy dish. All right. Today here I have broccoli, florets that I cut up. I have scallions, which is green onion. I have fresh dill. I have minced garlic. I have chicken stock. I have salt and pepper. And I have lemon juice and flour. I'm gonna show you what that's gonna play when it comes into making this dish. Now, over here at my oven, I have a nonstick skillet. And you want to turn your flame under medium heat. All right. Now, once that gets nice and hot, I'm going to drizzle a little olive oil that I have here. You can use um, coating spray, pan spray, to spray your nonstick skillet. But today, I'm using olive oil. I'm going to put about a good, nice, little healthy drizzle. That's about a tablespoon. Now, I'm going to let this come up and get a nice little heat. I'm gonna go and bring my ingredients that I'm actually gonna saute to make this dish. Yeah, saute. I told you it's a wonderful dish, but let me show you. I'm gonna take with me my scallions, my dill. Now my skillet is still getting nice and warm. My garlic and my low sodium chicken stock. Now, I'm gonna go in here with my garlic. Don't nothing smell better when garlic get the sizzling. <laughs> All right, there she goes. She's starting to talk to me. I hear you. I'm going here with my green onion, sky. I want this all to come together and I'm going with my dill. Now, once again, I know you're asking me about dill, but this dish I'm making is actually a broccoli lemon dill dish I'm making. So this dish here I'm making will consist of dill, green onion, garlic, and lemon juice. So now it's starting to sizzle. Oh my goodness, if this camera has some smell to it, you, whew, you smell that good flavor from the dill and um, garlic. Now, while that's working, releasing the oils and the flavors from the garlic, I'm going to go in with my chicken stock. Yeah, yeah. Now, what I want to do now, I want to bring this up to a nice little boil, because I got something else that's going to go in there. Yeah. Now you see what I'm talking about? See that little nice little simmer? Now we release all that good flavor. I'm gonna go in here with my broccoli. Now, you can go and make this dish with your raw broccoli or blanched broccoli. Blanche just mean when you put your broccoli in some hot water and you, and you let it simmer for about two, three minutes, then you pull it out and you make your ice bath. Ice bath is cold water, it shocks the vegetable, it stops it from cooking. Now, once I get this nice and coated, all right, now I'm getting the flavor from the garlic and the dill. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do because I need some of this liquid to reserve to go over this dish. I'm gonna plate this up. I know you're saying, Chef, where the salt and pepper come in? I'm going to show you. Now, I'm going to take this off the heat. I'm going to turn my heat off because I'm going to reserve that sauce. Now, I'm going to plate this up. 
like I say, this is a nice little dish that you can make and you can pair it up with any side. You know, most important, this would be good for, for a nice little barbecue. And um, you can have this with some barbecue chicken, some barbecue ribs. Oh, you're talking my language. Uh-oh. One fair I think of that. Sorry. Now, once I got all my items out of there, I'm making a mess, but I'm going to get rid of that. All right. Now. All right. Not the finishing dish, but I'm going to show you what's going to go on top. You see how that look? That's the color you want your broccoli to look like when you're actually making this dish. Now we're going to put the final some touch on it. Because I know you ask me, what happened to that lemon juice in that, in that flour? Let me show you. I'm going to go in here with my lemon juice. Now I want this, once again, to come up to a nice little simmer. I know you see a little particle still in there. All this going to come together because it's going on top of that broccoli. This is my lemon juice. Now, I told you in the beginning, dill, lemon, broccoli. That's what the dish is. It is a lemon, dill, and broccoli. Now, we're going to go with our flour. This is actually is like making a roux. Roux is normally made with flour and butter. But what I want to do is I want to make this and turn this into a sauce. I got to make sure all this is cooked. And come to a nice little glaze. I will add more flour if I need it. cooking out all that flour. I know I see a little white particle, but you gotta understand I did have garlic in here. So now, as you can see, it's getting nice and glazed. I'm cooking out all that roux, I mean that flour. I'm always gonna say roux, cause that's all I normally do when I make roux, is flour and butter, or flour and oil. Now, I got all that cooked out. All right, lower my heat back to a medium low heat. Now, you see that nice glaze? Now, only particles I see in here is my garlic, all my flour has gotten cooked out. Now, last finishing touches. Here you have it, lemon dill broccoli. <laughs> now let's taste this bad boy, cause I am starving and it's calling my name cause it's broccoli and it's garlic. All right, now let's taste this baby. Mm. Refreshing. You catch the dill. You catch the lemon. Mm. You don't catch a lot of that garlic. But, once again, I'm going to take another bite. Because it's gorgeous. Mm. This is good. Once again, this is Chef Ray. I'm here. For any comments you may have, you can always reach me at raymond.nadi at tu.edu with any suggestion, any question. I'm here to help you with anything you need to know. Once again, this is a nice, quick, easy dish that can be made ahead of time or just as a nice side, as an option for any other protein you're pairing it up with. I didn't pair it with a protein. I just wanted to give you a quick idea and a quick example of something nice and quick and healthy that you can make right on the fly. Once again, this is Chef Ray. Take care. Have a wonderful day.